Welcome back everyone to yet another little redstone video I've got for you today and this one is on a device that I made uh, probably a little while ago and I forgot about it it is a basic automated shop uh, we're playing in the 24b snapshot top left there uh, as you can tell by the horrendous looking lapis change it back dinner bone please <laughs> um, so I've got my little shop here and this is a very nice design I'll give you a Give you a look at it. I think I took me a while to get it this compact. I just had to work on it a bit, and I got it pretty compact, and I'm pretty happy with it now. So you have uh, your three chests that are kind of visible to an outside player. You have input, output, and rejection chest. Now the current conversion is lapis to charcoal. So pretty simply, if we get four, five, put five lapis in there, it seems it drains out. Check this, and we have five charcoal here. Very, very nice. Uh, now the other mode is that if we put five reds in here, two, three, four, five drains out at the uh, same rate. No charcoal here, so it just gets uh, filtered into the rejection chest. And and I already have five reds in. I forgot. So just to show you, again, you can just, it just filters into this chest. And uh, we can see that the lapis gets uh, filtered down to here. Uh, it was already uh, put the ten back in here. You can see it beautifully filters into here, all ten of it. Uh, so I'll go through the kind of basic concept of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so what happens is that uh, the chest drains into this hopper, which is pointed at this hopper. But below it is a hopper just full of lapis. So any lapis that comes into here will get filtered down. Anything else will just get filtered straight out to the side to the rejection chest. And of course, this can be used with any uh, stackable item this will work with. And yeah, any stackable item. I work with non-stackable items uh, for obvious reasons because you can't stack them. <laughs> um, and it gets filtered into this. When I put one lapis in here, uh, this signal over here goes to two, uh, which goes through this repeater, which goes and depowers this torch, so it allows one lapis through the system, and then it shuts off. This goes back to one, and the torch turns back on, so it lets the one lapis through. Um, now, when this is happening, this goes through, and activates both of these droppers because this repeater into here will activate this dropper and then I, for some reason it's still powered or something um, it's a bit weird with the mechanic of droppers but it essentially powers both of these and pushes up the charcoal into there and you can see this is full of charcoal and this one second there apparently yeah but this is full of charcoal uh, plenty of charcoal uh, it's uh, not, not sure it's probably not a very good trade probably Probably one lapis to one redstone would be a good trade, I reckon. Or one redstone block, I would say. But um, that's pretty much how it works. It's uh, I get, It took me a while to get uh, this little bit. And uh, because this torch doesn't actually interfere with any of these droppers, um, it might interfere with this dropper, but I don't think it has any uh, consequence at all. So uh, I think it interferes with the bottom one, which is why you get this one in here. But overall still works perfectly one-to-one -one exact ratio uh, and only one-to-one -one ratio uh, with being this compact if you need to a different ratio uh, you'll need to use something like a hopper timer which I've done a video on and I got that from uh, cube hamsters shop and Gus made a very nice shop as well and a kind of adaption on that version uh, which I will will post in the link I think uh, post in the description the link in the description is what I'm trying to say so yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this little shop. Hopefully you can put this to good use in your multiplayer world, your SMP worlds, because it's a nice, I think it's a nice little design, nice compact, resource friendly. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll catch you next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one.